Welcome back to Fundamental Airways. Always Zerk, and today we're back with another retail box. This is again 2020, 2021 Series 2. So uh, Tim Stutzel, Kirill Kaprizov, a bunch of other guys all in this uh, really good rookie class. Uh, so we we'll turn around the camera. We'll get right into it. We won't waste a whole lot of time. Uh, backdrop is cards from my latest break, Platinum. I really, I really think I want to rip more platinum. I just, it's such a fun rip. And even like, even when they're not a hit box, it's just like all the colors, all the parallels. It's just, why does it have to be $250 Canadian? Why, why, why? I can't make 150 bucks. 150 bucks, I'd buy that over like a high box of like series one or series two. But here we go. Uh, I get 24 packs, eight cards per pack. Uh, different thing from like a uh, high box is uh, you don't get the um, exclusives, high gloss, clear cut, stuff like that. You can still hit a Young Guns canvas in this, um, but that's pretty much it when it comes to extras. So here we go, Andrews, uh, Andrews Nielsen, uh, Mike Hoffman, Clayton Keller, Fabry, and Vita Vancheck. First hit in the marquee rookie. Uh, yeah, it was... A, Last box was definitely my best box I've ever had of Platinum, for sure. Uh, with the Jack Hughes, the Shane Pinto, Emerald out of 10, uh, which I'll talk about in a minute. And then uh, Alexander Holtz, so that's out of 199. Connor Ingram. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's such a good product. But like I said, uh, the Emerald out of 10. I put it up on eBay for a thousand bucks. Brent Burns and the Green Dazzlers. Uh, pretty quickly on, I got like two offers for like 500. Um, so I countered them just to see. And then I put the price down to 800. Um, just cause I wasn't sure if I could get a little more. I had guys, I think one of the guys up to like 550. And then a guy came in at uh, with a big offer, uh, Kyle Palmieri, uh, of seven hundred dollars Canadian. And I waited on it for a little bit just to see. It just like I said, it only been up for maybe a day at this point. Um, listed it and everything else, so I waited a little bit, uh, and then I accepted the offer um, Saturday night. So going out tomorrow. I guess today when you guys are watching this. Uh, first hit, it is a Young Guns. It is for the Canadians. It is Alexander Romanov. Romanov, sorry. Used to be a big card. This just shows like kind of what, um, you know, where you are makes a big difference. You know, Romanov with, with the Montreal Canadiens, everything else, big card. Uh, Romanov with the Islanders, not such a big card. So just once again, kind of shows... It can be just that quick, right? Everyone thought that's the newest D prospect for the Montreal Canadiens. This is going to go crazy. You know, this guy is going to go up and up and up. And then all it takes is one trade, and it's like, oh, nope, never mind. He doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> We're just going to shove him out, and nobody cares anymore. So, Yuki Haru, Jack Hughes, Adam Henrique, Young Guns of Nikolai Kuz uh, Kuznishov. And Jake Ottinger, there we go. We got the color match, green dazzlers. Maybe the most expensive card so far we've pulled. So there we go. Jake Ottinger in the green dazzlers color match. Andrew Kopp, Tom Wilson, and Peterson. I didn't realize he uh, apparently had a really good year, like on defense last year. Peterson did. Peterson. Peterson. Um, I think it's actually. I think it's actually said Peterson. Um, but uh, yeah, he was like second league in blocks. Uh, number one in the league in blocks was uh, Austin Matthews. Another Vita Vancheck doubling up. All right, Vita Vancheck hits. Fabro, Corpusalo, Heesher, and Bowie. So, oh, it's uh, it is what it is. So we need some we need some good luck. Try to, let's try to add to that Caprizov. You know, uh, pop count for PSA 10s. Nick Robertson, 
it's also funny like you know he was like 3x or 4x what his brother was at one point same thing because he plays in uh, Toronto obviously Nick's had a lot of injuries and stuff and Jason's just you know been a point per game player essentially ever since get to the NHL which is wild Jason's just got that like size too I think is a big thing with with him um, you know, just a big body out there where Nick's a little bit smaller. Uh, Milan Lucic, now back with the Bruins. Kuznetsov, Thomas Harley. Uh, Burkowski, Freddie Anderson, Jamie Ben, and Tarasenko. Looks like a lot of people are talking about now with the Debrinkat trade. Uh, Tarasenko will end up uh, with um, the Senators. So we'll have to wait and see if that's what happens there. Uh, we got Warren Fogle, Darren Helm, recently retired. Darren Helm, Stanley Cup champion. Uh, we got another marquee rookie, Alec Regula. I feel like he got traded recently. Alec Regula. Okay, I have Jason Spezza, Pacioretty, and Roslevic. This is okay, Rip. And I got, this doesn't have the upside of like the, the hobby, so you don't get the clear cuts potential and all that stuff, but... And this is a lot cheaper at the same time. But, you know, this this product compared to, like, Platinum, Platinum just gets it. I don't know. I know I'm raving about it. Meanwhile, I'm trying to talk myself out of buying an extra box. So, Jacob Verana, Adam Gaudet, and another... Uh, there we go. Peter Bondra. This is one of the veteran canvases. Legends canvases. Hall of Famers. I don't know what they call it. I think this is... Legends canvas, maybe. Let me know in the comments what you guys what it's called. I can't remember what the exact name of it, but Peter Bondra in the old Capitals jersey. 1993, 85 points in 83 games played. Why did they play 83 games? I'm confused. Over a thousand games, almost 900 points. Peter Bondra, not a bad little hit. Uh, Vince Dunn, Jonathan Quick, and Marcus Peterson. So, it's the dog days of summer right now, ladies and gentlemen. So, I'm over here enjoying the weather. Um, but it's no hockey. You're waiting for random trades and random free agency signings and stuff like that in this time of year. Uh, we got Bowen Byram in the portraits, rookies. Rookie portraits. I think that's kind of what I want to say. I go Bowen Byram. Uh, Edler, Backstrom. And Nikushkin. Let's see if Big Val comes back for next year. It's all by all sounds, by all accounts, it sounds like he's going to. Doesn't make any sense tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Keep on trying to talk here, and apparently it's hard. Johnny Hockey. This card always gets me. It's just like the, the fogginess, or I don't know, like just the distortion. I always used to think that was like a, a clear cut. You're opening stuff. Oh, this is going to be Philip Maillet. I think he did recently got signed too. I can't remember where to. Philip Maillet, just a you know, dollar young gun. Uh, Joel Erickson Eck. Local card shop has a bunch of these for like a dollar, I'm pretty sure. They sell for a couple bucks for something. I'm going to go stop by and grab them. I was going to do it the other day, but I already had. That's if you haven't checked out my, one of my latest videos, it is my second last video other than this one. Uh, you guys can go see everything I picked up. Um, but there was a bunch of like dollar cards at a local shop and good guy to stop by and, and get stuff from. Uh, next young gun is going to be, <laughs> I've hit this card so many times, the checklist of Tim Stutzel and Dylan Cousins. Not what I was hoping to get. Uh, I was hoping to get Timmy Stutzel by himself, but there we go. Young guns checklist, Tim Stutzel and Dylan Cousins. My boy Ivan Barbashev, two-time Stanley Cup champion. Great, great player. Just got paid. As always, we'll support that guy. I'm obviously not a Vegas fan. I was never a Blues fan, but you, know, you support the guys that you, you like at the end of the day. Leonard, Jake Muzzin. Come on. And award winners, Matt Dumba. He's not signed yet as of... Right now, I listen to the Hockey Cards Gong Show uh, podcast, whatever. <laughs> That's Minnesota Wild fans. They're not a big fan of Matt Dumba. They are, 
And I'm a big fan of a lot of guys over in Minnesota. Uh, they hated all the guys. It's funny, but it's hard when you get these guys you've had on your team forever. But I got Shea Theodore, Golden Knights, uh, Dumoulin, Cam Atkinson, Hunt. It's one of those things you, I swear. These packs, I just, I don't know why I try to like open them without. I know you can do other stuff. You can pull them, this and that, but I just don't like, like, potentially mess up the corners. Uh, Jordy Ben, Shea Theodore, Kirill Ustamenko, the marquee rookie, and a Shea Weber, and the Dazzlers. Kubalik just got traded over to the Senators. Uh, Bushnevich and Rupe Hintz, who has had a great playoffs, great season overall, really. Um, it's nice to see some of these guys kind of getting the getting their flowers in the playoffs because they play well. It's like, yeah, that guy plays well every day. He's just a good player. Uh, Bobby Ryan award winners. There's a guy. Bobby Ryan is prime. If you're a young kid and you haven't gone looked, or even if you're older, just like look up like Bobby Ryan highlight film on like or highlights on. Um, like YouTube and stuff like that. Bobby Ryan used to be nasty back when he was with the Ducks when he was like first coming in the league. Just big body, had good hands. Uh, next young gun. Oh, this patch. Peyton Krebs, not a bad one. I think I pulled this once or twice also, but Peyton Krebs, rookie materials patch. And the cornerstones there in that Jack Heichel trade. I guess, you know, a lot of people thought Buffalo got the haul and Buffalo, maybe Buffalo would be better off in the long term. I, I really liked Alex Tuck. I don't, that's one of those guys I always thought was underrated, kind of like that Rupe Hintz kind of model. Um, and then I like Peyton Krebs too. So good trade overall, I think. Get Nick Robertson again, once again, in typical uh, upper deck fashion. When you hit one of a guy, you hit. And their insert, especially when it's a rookie, you hit two of that guy. Hence the uh, Vita Vancheck doubling up on him for inserts. Same thing with Nick Robertson, doubled up on him. So let's see what else we got here. Victor Olofsson, Patty Kane, wait to see where he goes. Ryan Pulak, and our next one is for the Devils, Sharon Govich. Yep, newest Calgary Flame, Igor. Sharon Govich. So I know Calgary's obviously going through their rebuild right now. This guy was like one of the highest, like in his rookie year. I think he was like one of the top um, rookies, like for scoring and stuff. A really good season. So pop him back in there. Might as well throw him up. That's the Jack Hughes premiere, by the way. A little short print. So, see what else we got. Four packs left. Need a big hit. Need the Krill. Need a Krill or a Tim Stutzel here to bring us around for the rest of the break. Opening, whatever you want to call it. Uh, checklist. It's Sid. We got Miko. And our next young gun is... That's not the name you want to see. Oh, no. John Leonard. Brother. Just got drafted in the first round. Uh, John Leonard started off, I'm pretty sure that's his brother, Ryan. Um, John started off like super hot, super, super hot. Um, got a lot of playing time in his like rookie year, everything else. And then he's just kind of, I think he's on the Predators now. 1998, so he'd be turning uh, 23 here later on this year. So still a young guy, like respectively. It's not like he's a you know 30-year-old young gun. You know, back in the day, this would have, he'd only been 20, 21, but just wasn't able to uh, really cement himself as the guy. I don't know if we are out of young guns. Maybe, possibly, I'm pretty sure we are. That's a, that's a shame if we are. This product just is one of those things. It's got so many, for the price of it, like I think this was about, I think it's $100 a box. It's one of those things, you hit a krill, you hit a... You know, Stutzel, you can grade this stuff, um, potentially get, you know, make some money back on it. 
Another canvas. It is talk. Rupe Hints. Just double up on the Rupe Hints talk here. If you guys haven't yet, make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, also, I appreciate everybody. Um, I put a message at the end of the dollar card video. Um, just about uh, like suicide aware, um, awareness and, and mental health when it comes to men, boys, girls, everything, but men in particular. Um, thank you anyway that reached out. I had some of you guys that reached out on Instagram. Some of you guys commented in the in, in the comments. Uh, everything else, it's um, just meant a lot. Like I said, it's something that obviously affected me pretty personally with uh, a guy I knew. Um, and uh, once again, if you ever have any bad thoughts, sad thoughts, anything like that, um, don't hesitate to talk to a friend, a family member, um, a counselor, a helpline. Um, reach out to me if you want. Like you, I don't know you from a hole in the wall. If you just want to talk and just chat and you're not feeling good and everything else, I tell you guys all the time, if you guys want to chat in, uh, in the, in the, in the uh, on the IG and the DMs and stuff like that, I talked to like a bunch of guys that, that I met through the channel would have no idea who they were otherwise. Um, so if you guys ever want to need someone to talk to, jump in there. If I'm on, I will talk to you guys for sure. So uh, last card, it is a portrait. It is P.O. Joseph. So there we go. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Like I said, uh, let me know in the comments too if you guys think I should get more platinum. I think you're going to twist my rubber arm if you say yes. Um, <laughs> uh, the scary thing is, is I bought that box. And between the first box and the second box, I pretty much broke even after the Shane Pinto. Uh, yeah, maybe a little bit more, but not by much. Uh, so I almost broke even with the Shane Pinto. Um, I think I'm going to grade this. I got to look it over still. I think I'm going to grade this. That's just a hair from the thing, but it's super clean. I don't see any dimples or anything. Centering looks good. I might grade it. Just a sweet looking card. And I know Platinum has so many centering issues. I don't know if those are exempt from it. Maybe they all center better. Um, but yeah, anyways. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Sorry for rambling here at the end. Um, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And for Eric, from the bench. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.